wonder how old cutworm's doing today. By the way, I put up a new light. There's an interesting story about these lights. Uh, these were the cheapest lights I could find, and I found them online at a company called, I think it's Wayfair or Mayfair or something. There's four of them on there for 44 bucks plus taxes. And they shipped them to me, they didn't ship me any cords. They shipped these things, but there's nothing to plug it in with. And they, according to the ad, it said it had them. So I complained, and they said, we'll send them. A few days later, I got a box of cords. And I thought, well, pretty good lights, and that was a pretty good deal, so I ordered some more. So I ordered some more, and they came without the cords, too. It's like, y'all just gonna sell, just keep selling these? <laughs> y'all gonna just keep selling these things with no cords? So you have to pay extra shipping to send me what you should have shipped me in the first place, you know? But I went back and looked, and they said they were out of stock. I'm thinking, well, maybe they got out of stock, and they figured out that they'd lose money by sending the cords that wasn't ever in them in the first place. Anyway, that's a little story that don't matter much, but there it is. So, I've got this light here. This is something that Stan did a long time ago. This is an old carriage light. It used to have like a wick fuel-based candle thing in it. And Stan kind of restored it, put a light bulb in it. And I thought a lot of people look at this car and they say, oh, it reminds me of the Monster's car. And... Uh, I thought, well, if it does, a lot of people say that, then I could put this over here for a tag light. It might look kind of cool. I don't know, you know. Just a thought. Just one of the possibilities. So many things you can do when you got a hot rod to play with. Hey, all righty then because uh, my offspring is coming in a couple of days and we're gonna want the pontoon boat in the water. And I put a new top on the pontoon boat, oh, early in the year, and it was too small. And so I ordered a bigger one and it came and it's sitting there on the ground in that orange package. And when my offspring gets up here, they're gonna be in the camper so if I pull that boat out and put it in the water and put that trailer down there, then that gives them a nicer camping space in here. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that today. We've got a nice sunshiny day today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but you know, the boat's gonna be in the weather once, once we start. It's gonna be out there and it's gonna get rained on. So it's a waterproof boat. I mean, you know, pontoon boats don't sink unless you poke a hole in the pontoon, so. Uh, I got new plugs for it, I got a new top for it, I got some rod holders to go on it, and stuff like that, so. I think today's the day we're gonna, we're gonna get our battle wagon ready and uh, pull it out. Old, uh, I, I call it a battle wagon because Charles Dyer the other day, he saw a video of me where I was talking about it this Toyota, he said, don't you mount a 50 caliber machine gun on it? And I thought, yeah, <laughs> that'd get attention. <laughs> yeah, buddy.